Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to one of the greatest model organisms in biology, the worm C. elegans. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, hey C. elegans, you look very nice tonight. Thank you. I think that's why scientists call me C. elegans. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Well, how are you doing C. elegans tonight? Well, so and so, you know, actually, I'm not that young anymore. Oh, really? Well, my cuticle is a little bit rusty. Well, how old are you, if I may ask? I'm 15 days old. 15 days? Well, I guess if, given that you live 25 days, that would be probably like 60 years old. Okay. Well, you know, the elegance tonight, we have a special guest. I thought I was a special guest. <laughs> yeah, sure, but we have the great opportunity to have with us tonight the great Super C. Elegance. <laughs> Welcome, Super C. Elegance. You look amazing. Oh, thank you very much. You know, I get this all the time, but please call me Super. <laughs> okay, Super. Well, really, you look so fit. That's quite amazing. And I've heard so many stories about you. I've heard that you live forever and you are super fit. Well, don't exaggerate, of course, but you know, it's kind of true. I actually live more than two, two months. Really? And, and you are so fit. Like, can you tell us how old you are today? Well, I'm 15 days old. Really? So actually, you worms are actually the same age. That's kind of amazing. Oh, yeah, but we cannot really compare both of us, you know. Well, what's your secret? I'm sure he's taking drugs. <laughs> Actually not, not at all. You know, I'm a mutant. I was born like this. I have one mutation in a gene that calls for the insulin receptor. Wow, isn't it amazing that one mutation in a single gene makes super C. elegans live three times longer than C. elegans? Wow, who cares about this, you know? I don't think anyone in this room would care about this. That's just one stuff. Well, you are wrong, actually, C. elegans, because you know what? They found out that 90-year-olds and 100-year-old people often have also genetic difference in the same gene. OK, great. But why should I care about this? Anyway, it's too late for me. Actually, maybe not. You know what, the other day? I heard scientists talking, and they actually they are working on developing some drug that would mimic the same mutation. Okay, great. Let me know when they found it. I will, for sure. And now, if you would like to excuse me, I have a marathon to crawl. 